Today, we're gonna to be looking at a meeting productivity tool that can really help streamline your process for meeting with people. It will allow you to take notes, assign tasks, uh, view the attendees, view the meeting details, take sketches, take pictures, even export them to email, planner, OneNote, all kinds of great things. Hi guys, my name is Michael, and this tool that I just talked about is if you are someone who uses Microsoft Teams, it's gonna sound very similar to that. And so I would say this tool might be a little more geared towards either people who have in-person meetings a lot, um, or if you are using another, uh, like if you're remote working but using a, a tool like Zoom, and you wish you had a, an app or a process that could really streamline things within the Microsoft Office ecosystem. So things like sending emails, looking at your Outlook, um, you know, connecting to Planner and OneNote. Um, of course, if you do use Teams, this, this app you, you may wanna watch because it offers some interesting customizations and tweaks that might make your productivity even a little bit better than before. Of course, we'd love for you to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments throughout this video, please leave them in the comments below. Okay, so as far as requirements, you are gonna need Power Apps, which comes with most Office or Microsoft 365 subscriptions and then Outlook, OneNote, and Planner. Uh, so the big one to be sure of is that you have Power Apps. So to be sure, you can go to office.com, come down here to the All Apps icon in the lower left corner, and then this will give you a list of all the apps currently available to you as part of your subscription, and you should see Power Apps. So that's the big one to double check for. And then of course, you're gonna to wanna to see Planner, uh, Outlook, and OneNote. So if you have all of those things, this is totally gonna to work for you. By the way, if you don't see Power Apps here, um, it could just be that it doesn't come with your subscription, but it also could be that your admin has just turned it off. So that might be worth reaching out to them to see if that's something that you could have. Let's go ahead and walk through the Power App itself. So the first screen that you see is a screen of all of your meetings for the day. However, if you are currently uh, if the time is currently in the middle of one of your meetings, it will just automatically default to that meeting as you're seeing here. Pretty cool. If you do want to change for whatever reason, select a different meeting in the day, you can select change, and then you'll see meetings that have been earlier uh, as well as later, but it'll still show you which meeting's going on right now. So that's pretty cool. Once you've selected the meeting you want, you can click start, and it's gonna show you that um, all the things that you're gonna be doing within this app will not save until the very end. So it's saying like, hey, be careful here uh, to not navigate away or anything like that. So got it. So the first thing we're gonna see up here are some details about the meeting. So we've got the meeting's name, date, when it is, duration. This is one of my favorite things about this app. It's kind of cool. It, it shows you the remaining time in the meeting with a progress bar right across the top here. So as the meeting's going on, this will slowly creep. Gives you a good sense of how much time you have left. Over here, you'll see the attendees, and this is pretty cool. You can email them right from within the app. So if you click up here on email, it takes you to this screen where you'll see all of their names. You can do the subject message and click send. Sends them an email right from here. So if there's something that comes to your mind that you wanna email everyone right away, very easy way to do that. You can also email people individually, which is cool. Like if maybe it's five minutes into the meeting and someone's not there yet, you can ping them a quick email to say, hey, come to the meeting. Uh, down here are the meeting details. So these will be the same things that you see when you double click on the event in Outlook. So those will show up here, including the ability to do links. So this is a hyperlink. And if I click on that, it will take me to that website. So that's pretty cool. Here is a place to enter notes. So as the meeting's going on, you can enter your notes here. So pretty cool. Um, this is pretty awesome. So you've got the ability to add tasks. So you can either type the uh, task itself here and then click the plus, or you can click the plus and just come to the screen. And then here's where you can enter first task uh, with the due date. And you can select who the task is assigned to. It'll automatically show you the people in your meeting, which is very handy. Or you can search for someone outside of the meeting, but within your organization. So just to show you what that looks like. So that's pretty much everything on this screen. Um, if you come over here to the menu and you click on this guy, uh, you are brought to a sketchboard. So you can sketch ideas um, with your meeting and you can do this on your computer. Obviously this would be really cool on a tablet um, with a stylus, but
but you can sketch whatever you want, do some brainstorming, some ideas. As you can see, I'm an amazing artist. Uh, you know, you've got some basic controls down here and then when you're done, you can save the sketch and you get a new one if you want to start on another sketch. Or if you come over here to the camera, it will show you a camera, hello, and you simply take a picture by clicking on it. It's one of my best pictures ever. And then you can save it up here or discard it. It's good enough, so I'll save it. Come back over here. Now to see where those pictures and sketches are, you can click on this attachment button up here and it will show you your pictures and sketches. You can click on them, view them, delete them. So that's pretty cool. So when you are, so you're using all of these tools throughout the meeting and then when you're done, you're gonna click on finish and save and it's gonna bring you to this export screen. So all of this data you've been capturing, it's not really saved anywhere while you're using the app. It's just saving it within uh, the Power App itself for this moment. So this is the power of this, is you need to be able to actually save and export this somewhere. So it gives you a few different options. First of all, you can send it to OneNote if you want. So it'll compile everything together. Uh, I will say the one thing it doesn't currently do with OneNote is it does not send your um, sketches or pictures. Not sure why, but uh, that's what that does for now. You can also send uh, your tasks that you've assigned to uh, Planner, and you can email. Uh, so you can email um, everyone within the meeting, or you can add other people. It's weird, usually it shows everyone from the meeting, right now it's just showing Mitch, but easy enough to add other people. Uh, so this will send them a summary of everything, including the sketches and pictures, which is pretty cool. So I'm realizing now I'm just about to go press export, but it's disabled, and it took me a second to figure out why. Uh, should have figured this out sooner, but you actually have to select your locations, which makes sense. So I'm gonna click on this. You can select your notebook that you want it to go to and the section. So we'll do that. Same thing with planner, your plan and your bucket. So that looks good. And there we go, excellent. So we'll go ahead and export. It says, are you super sure you wanna export? Yes, I am. Boom, so that's all exported now. Um, let's go take a look at what those things look like in those resources and then we'll come back for this final feature which I think is probably the coolest of this app. So if we go over to our email, uh, we will see, uh, first of all, our lovely picture and sketch woo, as attachments. And then also this really nice um, compilation of everything that you saw in the app, including tasks. You can click on this, it'll take you right to Planner to view that task, pretty cool. Uh, so speaking of Planner, if you go to Planner, here's marketing plan in my bucket and there's my task, booyah. So if we come over to OneNote, we see there is the summary there. Again, don't get the picture and sketch, kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Uh, so that's those three things. So let me come back and show you this final feature, which is really cool. So if you need to schedule a follow-up meeting, you can click on this. It will ask you who the attendees are for this meeting. It'll default to the people from this meeting, but you can add others, you can delete uh, the subject, message, And this is really cool, find available times. So this is the similar functionality to what you can currently do in Outlook uh, with looking at everyone's schedules. But um, I really like how they laid it out. I think the user interface for this is pretty cool. So you can select the uh, date, the time range. So you can either change the drop downs here or you can just drag. No, you can't drag, sorry, I misspoke. So you can change that, but it'll show you visually, which is cool. The duration and then find available times. This is a test tenant, so no one really has meetings scheduled, so everything's looking good. But in real life, uh, you know, you're know, you not gonna have 100% all the time, but this list will sort by the best time. So it'll show you 100% first, maybe 80% next. And then um, if it says like 80%, for example, it will say actually who cannot attend over here, which is nice. So if there's one person who doesn't really need to be at the meeting, you can find that perfect time. Uh, but we'll select this one, send invite, and then it creates the invite right from this app. So, very cool. As far as the setup of this app, it literally could not be easier. Because as it is right now, there's no data source involved with it, you literally just come to the Power Apps homepage here, come to create, find the template, so a meeting capture, you're gonna give it a name, you're gonna click create, and then once you get to the main Power Apps editing screen, you click save, share, and that's it. Awesome, literally will take a minute.
Let's go ahead and talk about some customizations because one of the really cool things with Power Apps is you can customize so many things. So one of the most basic things uh, that you can customize is how things look. So pretty much any of these screens, any of these controls, you can change the coloring, you can change the font, you can change the sizes, you can change the layout, you can take away components, you can add components. Um, anything's customizable. So as you're, as you're thinking about this and, and you're thinking, which tools do I think would be really useful to have available when I'm taking a meeting, the sky's the limit um, in reality. And one of the really cool things about Power Apps is, whereas if you need a custom application and maybe it takes months to build, with Power Apps, I mean, really it can be hours or even days. So it's a really short, easy way to customize. So that's all design stuff. Let's talk about some functionality. So first of all, um, the ability to email, really cool. What if your organization doesn't use email internally a lot? Like in our organization, we use Slack or Teams. Those are very easy things to integrate with this app. So for example, here, instead of these links opening up email, uh, they could open up connections to Slack or Teams. Uh, same thing with exporting. So when you come over here to the finish and save, instead of emailing, you could send all that to Slack or send it all to Teams or your messaging or email app of choice. Some other ideas that I had that might make this really cool is with attendance, it might be really cool to be able to mark who's present or absent. That's pretty easy to do. You could put a checkbox right over here. Um, the idea of like pinging someone if they're late to a meeting by sending them an email, it's pretty nice. I think it'd be even cooler to have like a separate ping icon that you just click from this screen and it sends something to them, whether it's you know to Slack or email or whatever. Also, it'd be pretty cool to have a feature, like if you had the ability to mark them present, you could say, hey, five minutes into the meeting, whoever's not here, automatically send them a ping. That'd be kind of cool. Other media files, it'd be kind of cool to have the ability to uh, add some more icons here, so to record audio, so you could record uh, the audio of a meeting, be nice. Uh, it'd be cool to be able to record video, so if you, had a tablet or something and you wanted to aim it at everyone's faces and video record the meeting, that would be, could be possible. Um, with tasks, I think it'd be really cool to have the ability to edit and delete them. Um, so if you add a task like so to Mitch, there's not really a great way to edit this um, or delete it. So that'd be cool, easy to do. Um, it'd also be nice to assign to multiple people. So right now, if you select one, you can only do the one. Um, nice to do multiples. Um, also, a kind of weird thing is, let's say you didn't really do much that you want to export in a certain meeting. You didn't take notes, you didn't assign tasks, but you want to schedule a follow-up meeting. Right now with the navigation, you can't do that. So you come here, and if none of these things are selected, you can't actually export, which you need to do to get to the next screen. Super easy to change. You can put a button to schedule a meeting on that main page. In conclusion, if this sounds like something that you'd like to set up, uh, we're gonna leave some links below in the comments. Um, like I just said, extremely easy to get set up. Probably the easiest of any of these templates. Uh, so that will be nice. We're also gonna include the Power Apps licensing guide, just in case you do not see Power Apps in uh, office.com, that list of apps, if you don't see it there, and, and you're wondering if it comes with your plan, check out the guide and that will help, uh, help you determine if it is. I wanna come back to this Power Apps homepage really quick. Power Apps, if you've not really worked with it, is, is so easy to use and comes with amazing templates like this meeting capture app. And I just kinda of wanna scroll through this list. If any of these look like things that you currently have kind of a clunky manual process or paper trail process, and you wish you had a cool automated app instead, try it out. I mean, honestly, these can be extremely easy to put together and customize. And um, if, speaking of customizing, if any of the things that I talked about with customizing the meeting capture app sound interesting to you and you need some help, please feel free to reach out because we would love to help you with those. I'm gonna keep doing videos on these tutorials uh, to continue to spark ideas and interest in Power Apps. So keep your eyes on our channel if you're interested in that. And I think that's it, and we'll see you next time.